So here's something interesting. People always talk about the F-16 as if it's this cheap fighter jet. And yeah, it was definitely designed to be more affordable than those big, tough F-15s back in the day. But, you know, cheap is a relative term. We're still talking about a serious, high-tech piece of military hardware. Now, if you go back to the 1980s, you could get yourself an F-6C CD for under 20 million bucks. Sounds like a bargain, right? But remember, that was a while ago. Adjust for inflation, and you're looking at something closer to $80 million in today's money. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Nowadays, the top-of-the-line F-16 is the F-60V, also known as the Block 7072. And this model is packed with upgrades, a cutting-edge radar system, advanced avionics, and the ability to carry a whole arsenal of weapons. For all that tech, you're looking at around 60 to $70 million per jet. But of course, there are all sorts of factors that can influence the final cost. It's kind of like buying a car. You've got your base model, but then you can add all sorts of options. Different countries might want specific weapon systems, extra fuel tanks, specialized sensors, the works. And just like at the grocery store, the more you buy, the better deal you're likely to get. And here's the kicker. Buying the jet is just the beginning. You also have to think about the long-term costs of keeping it up and running. Fuel, spare parts, training for pilots and mechanics, it all adds up. So sure, the F-16 might be cheaper than an F-35, but it's still a big investment. It's like owning a high-end sports car. You've got to be ready to spend serious cash to keep it going. 